What's up guys and welcome to another episode of Yu-Gi-Oh! Character Profiles. This week we're doing Tyranno Hasselbury from Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. So in the English version he's known as Tyranno Hasselbury. In the Japanese he's known as Tyranno Kenzan. He's 15 years old and his anime debut was in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX episode 53, Back to Duel. Here's his win and loss ratio and uh, here's his duel points to let you know. What do you think? Quick gist on the character, Tyranno Hasbury is a raw yellow duelist who enters Duel Academy in his second year. To his surprise, he was assigned to the raw yellow dorm despite scoring high on the Duel Academy entrance exam. In both the English and Japanese versions, people tend to call him by his last name. Hasselbury. His name Tyranno is a play on Tyrannosaurus, meaning Tyrant Lizard from the ancient Greek Tyrannos. This fits well due to his deck which is made up of dinosaur monsters as well as the fact he used to love archaeology as a kid. So Tyranno is mixed race and has a very muscular physique, with his outfit following a dinosaur and military theme. He wears the raw yellow uniform with no sleeves and wears a green muscle shirt underneath. He also wears combat pants with wristbands with matching bands above his feet as well. He also has a bandana with a little dinosaur face on it. He also has bone earrings and a necklace of dinosaur bones. Sometimes his pupils are narrowed into reptile like slits and the colour of his eyes lighten to make him look more like a dinosaur. And and also, in some flashbacks, Tyranno is seen wearing a Jurassic Park t-shirt. Fantastic. He also carries an Academy Duel Disc on his left hand. In the English dub, Tyranno speaks with a southern accent and uses stereotypical cowboy slang and military jargon, which leads to a few jokes exclusive to the English dub. He often says, Sam Hill, which is a euphemism for hell or damn. He also has been known to love the doll spirit that became Alice. Tyranno made his first appearance when he complained to Velian Crowler and Bonaparte about not getting into Obelisk Blue Dormitory. He is then seen leading a gang and stealing the duel discs of those he defeated in duels. He was later defeated by Jaden and returned the stolen items because he came to idolise Jaden after this. In the original version, this was supposed to be loosely based on the myth where legendary samurai warlord Minamoto Yoshitsune defeated Saito Benkai. Judai even compares him to the famed warrior monk before the duel starts. Although his dorm is technically raw yellow, he decides to live in Slife of Red to be closer to and learn from Jaden. From his introduction onwards, he often fights with Cyrus Truesdale over who is better suited to being Jaden's best friend. In the Japanese version, it is over who has the right to call him Big Brother. In episode 73, it is revealed that Tyranno was hospitalised after a rock slide during an archaeological dig. The incident permanently damaged the tibia of his left leg, but the bone fragment of a dinosaur fossil he unearthed during the excavation was used to replace it. Tyranno believed that as a result of Jaden's influence, the dinosaur DNA awoke a great power within him, which supposedly protected him from being converted by Sartorius into one of the members of the Society of Light. It is also implied that this accident is also the reason for Tyranno's unique ability to narrow his pupils into reptile-like slits. So Tyranno uses an evolution deck focused on dinosaur type monsters. He uses cards such as Big Evolution Pill and New Ultra Evolution to quickly summon his powerful monsters such as Superconductor Tyranno and Ultimate Tyranno. Tyranno also uses Earthquake in conjunction with his Dark Tyranno to attack his opponents directly. He also uses cards such as Survival Instinct or Space Time Transcendency with his Tyranno Infinity to increase its attack, giving him access to easy summon powerful monsters. With that guys, that's never episode done don't forget to leave a like favorite and subscribe let me know who you'd like to see next week for Yu-Gi-Oh 5ds and thanks for watching